Perhaps one of the most extraordinary places on the planet. And who else would be there besides Amy Robach? Yes, we're talking about the Galapagos Islands. There she is, launching a week's worth of groundbreaking climate coverage there today. Uh, seeing some rare creatures there. And, Robes, I have to tell you, now, during the last couple of segments, they had your shot of, your, of the ship up. And we saw you sunbathing in between your two live shots. <laughs> I have a great picture of it that Whoopsie. I'm going to send you. <laughs> You know, Dr. Jen says to get 15 minutes of vitamin D every day, so that's what I was trying to do there. But no. <laughs> um, you said it best. There is no place like the Galapagos here in the world, and climate change is threatening these islands and the animals that live here. There are so many unusual species that you typically wouldn't see living in the same island chain, like penguins and flamingos fur seals with hammerhead sharks. That's how special this place is. And with the help of naturalists and biologists aboard this ship you just saw here, the Nat Geo Lindblad expedition that we're on, we were able to witness and continue to be able to see these incredible animals, both on land and under the water. The Galapagos Islands is one of the most unique places on earth with pristine wildlife largely untouched by human civilization. But underneath the waves, it feels like a different planet. I was greeted by baby sea lions. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cool. One of the species most vulnerable to a warming ocean. Surprisingly, life here is dependent on cold water. Currents bring nutrient-rich cold water from Antarctica, rising to the surface as it collides with islands, supporting the entire food chain. But as water warms, that cold water doesn't make it to the surface. And without those nutrients, fish and algae die off, and animals that feed on them face starvation. In the afternoon, we hike more than a mile across rocky terrain to a blowhole. <sighs> where marine iguanas cover the beach. These colorful reptiles can only be found in the Galapagos, seen swimming through the water and onto the rocks. The species now becoming a barometer of climate change. El Nino seasons, which used to happen about every 10 years, can supercharge warming, catastrophically reducing the food supply temporarily. These remarkable creatures ward off starvation by shrinking, their skeletons getting up to 20 to 30 percent smaller to survive with less until the El Nino subsides and cooler water returns. Now global warming is making El Nino years more frequent and more intense. You know, that's incredible, Robes, to see how gorgeous that place is. And you see these beautiful uh, species, yeah. but they are under threat as we're, as we're watching them and as we're in awe of them. Um, but you've seen so much. I mean, you're just getting there. You're just getting started. What's next? Yes, so, yes, we are island hopping, as I mentioned at the top of the show, and we are going to be kayaking with green sea turtles later this afternoon. And this is an incredible time because this is their nesting season, so we're really able to witness just this incredible uh, way they breed and then crawl into the ocean. They come back at night, but how long it takes them just to walk to the ocean. You see their little tracks. We saw them on a beach earlier this morning. They can live up to 120 years old, some of these tortoises. It's part of what the Galapagos is known for, named after so we're really excited about what we're doing later today we'll bring it to you tomorrow okay and i know i'm getting a little ahead but i'm excited about it because i know you're terrified of sharks the shark when, when's the shark thing happening <laughs> Yes, well, so um, apparently we have a lot of sharks in a couple of days. I'm told they're white tip and black tip reef sharks, and they won't hurt me. Yes. That's what they say. So we'll see. I think I'm going to brave it. I think, I think I'm going to do it. I got to do it, right? Of course you are. We've seen you do much, much okay. more risky things than that, uh, Robes. Um, always good to see you. Enjoy. Tell the crew and everybody back there we said hello. Yeah. We'll talk to you again soon, all right? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.